no before anybody comes in. For me, I did not use my stimulus check to pay for these items. I'm just a girl who loves makeup and used my work check. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Lauren and for today's video, we are gonna be doing a quarantine haul. Now, why in the hell did I decide to do a quarantine haul? Or why did I decide to make any purchases during quarantine? I don't know. I think maybe because I was looking forward to something since I can't go out, I can't do anything, I'm working from home, like I'm doing all this stuff that I'm just like, you know, I need something to look forward to. Take my card away, you guys. Like seriously, it needs to be taken out of my hands, out of my purse. Someone take it, but don't spend my money. But someone needs to take it. So my first purchase that I made, I actually made this one before the uh, stay at home order came into place for California, especially in my city of Long Beach. Um, but I didn't receive it in until after quarantine. Anyways, I did get the Jeffree Star Conspiracy palette. It's very pretty and it has a lot more nudes than I thought it was going to have. And I'm very, very excited for this palette. Um, I really want to try it out. I haven't swatched it. I haven't done anything. I'm thinking of probably doing a first impressions, although this palette's kind of old already. But, you know, some people don't have it. And some people do want an honest opinion on it. So I will give my honest opinions. I have read some reviews only because I follow this Jeffree Star page on Facebook. And I do see some people are having certain issues with certain colors. And I'm just like, okay, well, you know what? We're going to get down to it. We're going to see if those colors really do are not performing correctly. Or if maybe it's just an issue with a batch. The other palette that I did buy was the Mini Controversy palette. The colors are very, very cute I think I could do a couple of looks with this and that cry on my couch and diet root beer is definitely calling my name so I might do a natural makeup look with these palettes so if you do want to see that then you know just subscribe to my channel so that that way you can see the video my next order was done after the stay-at-home order I was like, I need to spend money. I'm getting tired of just being home. I want something to look forward to. I was talking to my friend Chris and he was telling me how he tried out the Glam Light palettes and he's like, you should try it out, girl. And I was like, I don't know. I shouldn't be spending any money. But of course, here I am. I spent money. Um, I didn't bring the lashes with me. I did get the bacon cheeseburger glasses from Glamlight. Those are super cute. I wish I could show you how they look like, but you know, I will try to remember to leave a link down below of that item so you guys can see how it looks. It's They're so cute. I bought three pairs of those lashes and if you're like me, you save your lashes, take off the glue and you know, they're reusable. So that's why I, I bought them like that. I'm like there's no way I paid like $12 on lashes just to throw them away no I can't do that anyways ranting I'm going off and why am I talking with my hands I don't know so the first palette that I got from Glamlight is the cake palette it does come in the PR box that they sent out which I think it's a really nice touch that they do sell them like this I really want to give Giselle props on that because that's pretty awesome sometimes you look at PR packages and you're like oh I kind of want one and I don't know for some reason this made me feel like I was getting a PR package although I paid for it myself but it's super cute so it just opens up like this and you just take out the palette why am I acting like you guys don't want to take palettes out this is the palette it's so much more prettier in person so I cannot wait to do a first impressions on this as well. Anyways, the second item that I bought from Glamlight is the paint palette. This one also comes in the PR box, which like I stated before, it makes you feel like you got a PR package, although you did pay for this one yourself. So this one just opens like this and it comes with a um, 
brush that's supposed to be like a paint brush and this is what the palette looks like I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it before so yeah um, the colors are so freaking pretty and this green light green shade is calling my name I have not swatched it I've been wanting to swatch it it is gorgeous it is freaking gorgeous and I can't wait to play around with it and also give a first impressions on this. And that was it for my Glam Light haul. So my next purchase did come over the weekend and I'm excited because these are some stuff that I have wanted for a while. I did get them from Beautylish. So the first item that I bought is the Inglot Duraline. The second thing I bought was the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Eye Primer. I'm excited to try this. Now these two liquid lipsticks I have been trying to get since forever. Jeffree Star always seems to um, run out of these. So I was like so happy when Beautylish restocked them. And yeah, so now I'm happy that I got them. And the two colors that I got from Jeffree Star Cosmetics was the Weirdo Liquid Lipstick and the Red Rum Liquid Lipstick. The last purchase that I did was from Morphe. They had a 40% sale for Jeffree Star products. So what did I do? I went and I bought some Jeffree Star stuff. The first thing I got was the Morphe by Jeffree Star brushes. It comes with seven brushes. The second one I got was the 10 brush set. Oh, I believe they're all for eyes. Yeah, seven eye brushes. I bought this one and it comes in this cute pink bag. The third item that I got from Jeffree Star was also a face and eye brush, but it comes in this bigger package. So the fourth item that I bought was the Jeffree Star Morphe palette. Um, I'll be completely honest with you guys. I wasn't a big fan of the review, but like I said, I followed this Jeffree Star page on Facebook and you know what I'm gonna leave them down below so if you do have a Facebook I suggest you go and follow them if you do like Jeffree Star I wasn't really impressed with the color story I'm like Jeffree does have a lot of these colors but you know what I was like you know what Lauren you need it you need it in your collection and so here it is the last item that I did buy was the Jaclyn Hill volume 2 palette um, it's pretty. I like it. I think it's really beautiful. It looks like this. I wasn't like originally I wasn't gonna get it because I'm like I already have colors that do look like that but it's my girl Jacqueline and I'm gonna support her and I was like you know what let me buy it and I did and I really like it. I think it's really freaking pretty. Anyways, that is it. That is all for my haul today and I do not regret anything. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, do what you gotta do to support your girl because, you know, I like making videos even though it's kind of weird talking to a camera, but yeah. Anyways, let me know what palettes you guys are excited for me to use. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.